Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and in part three, I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, how this exercise works, okay? I'm going to do it to Allison first so you can get a clear understanding, and then I'm going to show you in the next part how to do it yourself, okay? So Allison, you're going to go ahead and bend your elbow for me, please. So I'm going to raise Allison, Allison's arm. Right now, her arm relative to her body, we're going to say that's zero degree. If she moves her elbow out and away from her body, that's 45 degrees, and if she moves it out more, that's 90 degrees relative to her body. So somewhere between, you can go ahead and move your body to zero, somewhere between zero and 90 degrees, you're gonna be weak. And so what I'd like to do is, I like to start people out at 45 degrees, so go ahead and move your arm out to 45 degrees. And so what I have you do first is, go ahead and slide your shoulder blade in, Allison. Okay, so just like when she was sitting, she did the same thing and sewed the shoulder blade in. And the next thing, I have my fingers right underneath her elbow, and I'm gonna try and push her elbow up toward the ceiling this way. She's just gonna resist and try and maintain this position. So, ready, resist. So, what happened there, go ahead and relax. What happened there was, as soon as I gave her a little bit of pressure up, she resisted and pushed down. And it was real small, it was real, a small amount of pressure. But what she felt was, she felt that the muscles between her shoulder blade and her spine engaged, and, and more importantly, she felt that, you go put your arm down there. More importantly, she felt that her oblique muscles on her side also engaged. So when you do this exercise, it's critical that you feel the muscles of the, between the shoulder blade and spine engage, and you feel this engage. Okay, go ahead and bend your elbow again. Let me do that one more time. Go ahead and uh, move your elbow out to 45 degrees. So right there, let your arm relax. Let it relax. So go ahead and slide your shoulder blade in. So again, I'm going to press up. Ready, resist. And as soon as I press up, there's an immediate response of all the muscles kicking in. One's between the shoulder blade and the one on her torso. If you don't feel that, then that's the point where you need to practice. And again, you want to do it very gently. You want to hold it for six seconds. Okay, so in the next part, I'm going to show you how to do it yourself. Thank you.